Hello, welcome back to another Star Stable video. So, I haven't been in here in ages, so not entirely sure what we're going to be doing. But apparently there's something to do with bugs, or animals, or something. I don't really know. So yeah, we're just going to quickly go through the update. Apparently there is a thing that you can change the time of day. Wow, that was actually really, really easy. I honestly really like that. Anyway, let's uh, have a look and see what quests we need. So I think the quest starts with James. And I know there's a lot of updates that I haven't um, done. But for right now, we're just going to focus on the new stuff. I know there's new horses. But mm, I'm not... I have enough horses and I don't train and unless they're magic horses i don't really know oh but you are really wait are you the new horse oh hmm. okay no alex no no <laughs> no do not get distracted okay my little uh mana thing just disappeared strange sighting Alexis, you have to help me. There's a weird man in the hollow woods roaming around and scaring all the Taurus. This is unacceptable. I'm just about to release a book about horses that will lure every Taurus in the world right to our little island. You want to see it? Um, while I'm still writing it. Or neither looking for someone to write it. But no matter. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll go. Honestly, I think I've been spoiled by Genshin Impact's voice acting, and I honestly think Star Sable should invest in some voice acting, because I honestly think it would be amazing. Right, spot number one is there. No strange man. Well, that's a good thing. No one wants to see a strange man. What is around that tree? Why did I stop? Strange man here? No. There's a lot of these really weird trees, though. What about here? Oh, here. <laughs> no. Oh, strange man. Hello, strange man. Oh, it's Professor. <laughs> Hello, Alexinx. Bothering Taurus, me. You are making less sense than usual. Oh, yeah, it's you. I came to study the infestation in the forest. Surely you have seen the bugs swarming around the trees in the forest. No? Hmm, <laughs> youths. No attention to detail. Well, actually, I did thank you very much, sir. Well, this James is happy to hear. I'll leave the area as soon as I've studied the infestation. Of course, it will be done faster if you help me. Since it seems like you have an abundance of free time running errands, you can at least make yourself useful. I had a corner of a specimen, but the little smart creatures escaped. Get the creature back in the jar. Gotcha. Oh, it's a race. Is it? What creatures are these even supposed to be? Fireflies? I don't know. I don't like bugs. It's one of the reasons I hate summer and like spring is all of the bugs. I'll open my window and suddenly there's like 20 that decide to just make residence in my house and I'm like, no, go out. And they, oh, they just fly around you. Ugh. Sorry, freaking out over bugs. Pretty standard little race. And we got the books. Hey. Hmm, thank you. Now let me study them so we can learn what these small creatures are. Oh, we don't know what they are? They are Yorvian bark beetles. Wondrous small creatures. However, they are quite devastating to trees that aren't used to them. There are trees, and these trees are certainly not. We encourage them to move to more suitable habitat. Since you're already here, can you help me, Alexis? I will mix a type of insecticide. I'm, but I'm lacking the essential ingredients. Um, oil, pres preferably neem oil, and some soap. It should be good quality soap. Okay. Um, go to Harold and Silverglade. Gotcha. Soap and oil. Bit of a weird combination, but if it works as a natural insecticide, I don't mind. Hey, Harold. I need soap and oil, if you would please. First, I hate to send you to get some neem oil and some good quality soap. Let me see what I have. 
Yes, please. I found some neem oil, but I don't have a container for it. What do you have it in, then? Any regular old bottle will do. Okay. What, are you just... Are you just keeping the oil in your pocket? Like, what? Can I not just take the whole container and bring back whatever I don't use? Is there still this invisible wall here? Yes. There is. Right. Got the bottle. We're back. Wonderful. This bottle will do nicely. Let me repair the oil for you. Here's the neem oil. As for the soap, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is I've seemed to have run out without noticing. But the good news is I know where you can get some. Facility in Fairgrove. Felicity. From bad soap, she has a status, but she owes me. Okay. So, to Fairgrove to get some soap. Am I going to need to bring my own container, though? Am I being stupid? Where's the trailer? <laughs> I think I may be being stupid. Oh no, it's there. You can tell that I haven't played much. Oh, wait, are these the other new horses? Oh. Oh, I love this one, but they do at quick glance look very much like Lusitanos. I like this one too. No, 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 Alex, no. No, no buying horses. No buying horses. Unless... Hey. Uh, soap. Um, how is you all this way to get soap? Uh, I don't know whether to be flattered or concerned, but of course you can have some soap. Alexis, hold on. I have a lovely batch the other week. Clean cat burglary. This is strange. I could have sworn the new statue of soap. Who would still smoke? S smoke? S soap. Look, over there. You can see the soap turning off in the direction. Okay, hurry. I will hurry to get the soap. Can we not just go to, like, any shop to get soap? Wait, what? Soap. Clean cat burglary. Did a cat steal? I. Why would a cat want soap? Although cats are mischievous, so who knows? A cat stole the soap. I know the scent isn't for everyone, but for a cat too. Well, we got it back. Thank you. Now let me package this up for you. Thank you. Here you go, Alexis. Thank you for helping me get the Benjamin Snow bag. It might be hard traveling back, especially after the whole cat debacle. But there's a true scent. Yeah, okay. Listen. No cat is going to come and steal from me. Who am I going to now? Okay, we are going back to the professor. We're back with soap and oil. Splendid. Some of the youngsters have proven quite useful after all. I know. I have combined the ingredients. Remember Alexis that the mixture would most kill most regular bugs. Luckily, you've been bad beauties and no normal bugs. Yep. Um, just gonna spray it on the trees. Okay. Oh my goodness. How many times do we have to do this? Six. Okay. Spray number one. Spray number two. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to watch that little cutscene. <laughs> Three, four, five, and six. And we're back. Hey, thank you. Now all I can do is hope that the Yorvian bark beetles will find a more suitable habitat. Well, my work here is done. I will meet you in Fort Pinter to make sure James will leave me alone and assure him that his Taurus has nothing to worry about. Oh. God, he packed up quick. Oh. But don't you see? All you have... All you have to do is write some nonsense information about horses. People will buy it no matter what. Uh, I don't have time to help with your hobbies, young man. I am very busy. Alexis, perhaps you could talk some sense into this young man. Do I have to? <laughs> uh, now that the tourists aren't scared of the weird man in the forest anymore, surely they will come flocking back. Uh, I need my book ready before then. That sounds like a you issue, James. Um, I have a grand vision. The book containing all information about horses, every breed, every gate, every competition, and every whatever other menial chore and 
is connected to caring for horses. What? Why are you giving me that look? I am just a visionary, the mind behind the brilliant idea. Don't know anything about horses. But the Hesh of Hayden... Bleh, that's why... <laughs> That's why Professor Hayden has to write this book for me. As a member of AAE, he knows about every animal to fool. I mean, educate. Every tourist that comes in. Um, you don't care about profits? Hmm, imagine the knowledge we could spread about horses and how to care for them. How about that? Please ask him instead. He refuses to listen to me. I'm refusing to listen to you, James. Will he ever leave me alone? No. No. No, he won't. Um, fine, I'll do it. No, don't give in. Ugh. Knowledge should be shared. No, write a book by yourself and sell it and then James will be annoyed. Um, no matter how much it pains me to agree with James, but I'm a busy man and I have little time to gather the amount of materials I would need to put something together with an acceptable quality. Alexis, you know about horses already and you know your way around the island and you have proven yourself quite reliable. What are you saying? Why don't you be my assistant in this project? Oh, of course. I will make sure you're probably credited in the book. Do I have to? Because I really don't want to. <laughs> like, I really don't want to. Oh, no. To probably convey the wide variety of horse... Horses... Horse breeds, the reader was going to have to take some photos. A picture is worth a thousand words. The horse market close to Fort Pinter should serve well. There's always a different... Ma different amounts of different breeds. Okay. Interviews at modern stables. While we have a lot of knowledge between us, it would be good to interview some real experts on horse care. Someone who is working with horses every day. Why don't you run over to modern stables and ask Thomas Morton if you can interview him for some people working at the stable, okay? Yep. And um, make sure we cover every area of horse care. We should make sure we reach out. Starshine Ranch. Okay. Is that everything? Just, just those tiny things? Why do I always get roped into things? I just want to go to Pandoria and buy horses. That's what I want to do. Hey. Hey, Alex, this is something I can do for you. Can we take some pictures? You need reference photos from information book on horses. How exciting. Of course, you can photograph some of my beautiful horses, but we have so many. It will be a tour for you to navigate them and find a good variety. You know what? I'll go gather some of my favorites and bring them here. I'll thank you. That would honestly be a lot of help. Ooh, who do we have? We have a fjord. Pretty. We have Connemara. I don't know if that's the wind outside or something else. We have a Jorvik Wild. Beautiful horse. Still one of my favorites. Honestly, I've forgotten. <laughs> I don't know what horse this is. Good. Is that everything? Are we done? And these photos look great. It's a shame they can't convey the majesty of horse. In motion, do not... Wait a minute. That camera can film. Why don't you set it up on the wall over there and film Demon in motion? I'm sure Professor Hayden would appreciate the dedication. We're making a book. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're making a book. You can't put... Fill. I hope that their new anti-cheat thing... Ooh. Um, I hope the new anti-cheat thing isn't messing with my, um, recording software. Well, this is an interesting new mechanic. Oh, I think the anti-cheat thing might be. Hey. What is it, demon? You think we're done here? We should move on. Yes. Let's go see what's next. Okay, let's go see what's next with the book. I really hope it's okay. If it isn't, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. I've never, ever had this issue with Star Stable. 
the only thing that's changed is that anti cheat. Oh, and me throwing myself off a mountain. Hey, how you doing? Um, you want to interview some people around here that work with horses? Yes, I do. There's another laundry of people where the board sort of were talking about. They take care of horses is Maya and the Bobcat girls and every interest in her. Feel free to ask away. Okay, I will. Oh, I'm supposed to use. You want to know if I have anything interesting to share about horses. A horse eats about 2% of its body weight every day and drinks even more, about 40 litres a day. And no wonder our stable girls are always running around. True. That is a lot. Maya, sleeping again. I, if I have some fun information to share about horses, oh I do. Horse teeth can take up more space in their head than their brain. Or that they have 10 ear muscles while humans only have 3. Or that they have 205 bones in their skeleton. Or that... Why are you looking at me like that? I get a bit carried away. Sorry, I haven't slept much lately. Girl, you're always sleeping in the stable. What are you talking about? Let me think of something a bit useful. Oh, if a horse has its ears up pinned back and swishing tail and bare... Bed teeth you better keep your distance it means they are angry and they might do something you want no part of our stable cat uses the same body language isn't it cool that two animals with such different sizes are so angry in a similar way it would always be good to read uh, body language of animals you interact with yes it is very much i hope everything's okay because i do not want to have to relog there's no reason it shouldn't be anyway Hey Tan. Hello Alexis. Do I have anything interesting to share about horses for your book? How exciting. Let me think. Oh, did you know that horses can begin their career in racing as young as two years old and that most retire at the age of four and five? They're all so young. I think I've done everything here. I think we should move on. Uh, yes, I agree. Let's get to work on the book. Okay. Where am I going now? Starshine Ranch. Let's go there. Hello, Josh. Hello, Alexis. You seem to come here on a mission. Is there anything I can help with? There is. Go back. Um, you want to interview people? Yep, I want to interview people. Thank you. Great. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Use the notebook. Okay. Let's see. I hope you can include a section about Western riding in your books. I think it's one of the most interesting things about the sports is its origins. It evolves from cattle ranching, you know, roping cows and such. That's what the horns on the saddle were originally used for, to tie off the rope to capture the horse. Nowadays it's evolved and changed a lot, and there's a lot of traces of cowboy. Okay, cowboys, are you doing a good job passionate about educating people? I'm not really, I'm just doing it because I have to. <laughs> like, I like these things, but you know, it's like, Would I be rather sat here, you know, learning information about horses, or would I be rather going to like unsolve the mystery of Garnock? Out of the two, Garnock is the one I would go for. You want to know if I have any insights into horses I can share with you? Absolutely. One of the most amazing things I get to see again and again while running this farm is the birth of new foals. In the wild, they had to be kept. They have to. Blah, 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 blah. In the wild, they had to be able to keep up with the herd to survive, which is why they can stand and run within hours of being born. Which And they are fully born with fully formed hooves. I bet the readers of your book will find it very interesting. It's a truly miraculous birth every time. Yeah, it's weird. Like, humans, are, I think, are they one of the only animals that um aren't born, like, fully formed, like, able to walk and run and stuff like that. It's very interesting. Probably not, but it's fine. Do I know anything about horses? Hmm. Are they graze like sheep? But while sheep have stomachs with, with four chambers to help digest their food, a horse only has one. Like humans, sheep need special stomachs to get enough energy from what they eat. This is why they also eat so much. Grass is not very high in nutrition, you know. How does a horse get enough energy with only one chamber in its stomach? I am not an expert, but I think this is something to do with the breakdown of their food. It must be super effective for all horses. I've seen her full of energy. Listen to me sound like a profession, professor, professional, professor, whatever. I think it's interesting that animals eat similar food, but have to create different ways of processing it. Look, good luck with your book. 
It's not my book. That should be enough information, don't you agree? This is weird that we're actually talking to Waffles in the quest. I like it though. It's fun. Anyway, back to James. Hey. Um, hmm, you filmed different gates that, that's very thoughtful of you. But the focus was a bit off from some pictures and the video was a bit blurry. I'll be sending, but sending you back would take too long. This will suffice, good job. Uh, let me see, these notes are very thorough, it will suffice. Wow. So much praise for our work. Yep, caring about large mammals. Good, good work Alexis, I have to say you make quite a good assistant. I'm always the assistant. Um, have you ever considered a research career? Well, never mind. Now that it comes to the tenderest task of compiling all this information in a book fit for tourists, the thing is, uh, the things I do for some peace and quiet. Wait here, I'll be done in a moment, or a couple of weeks. There is no hurry in the creative process. Ooh. T-shirt. Bye. I guess we just, what, what do we do for like two weeks? Oh, we're back. Great. It was a quick two weeks. Why didn't his model get updated? Anyway, that took longer than expected. Don't tell me you've been waiting here the entire time. You used to really have nothing worthwhile. Be patient and warning you a book. It is a masterpiece that produces for myself. It's great and modern and insight. Oh, we got credit as a co-writer. That's amazing. What about me? Am I also credited? You did nothing. You, cage worms and insect moths? Surely not. Um, fair enough. Without me, there would be no book. I deserve a piece of the glory and fame. No matter, I can make all the in Senate. Speak up to here, young man. There's no respect for elders. I said I can't wait to print this book. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, Alexis, hand me the book. It's time to make our Taurus rich in knowledge and me rich in gold. Uh, finally, it's here. I'm going to sell like butter. Alexis, you have done Fort Pinter a great favour. Honestly? Not a bad little drink. I meant to zoom in, whoops. Not a bad jacket, it has stat- Oh, actually, I really, really like this. I love the top, the hoodie. Oh, I really, really like this. Oh, it even has the- <gasps> Okay, you know what? That was fair enough. That was fair enough. Um, Quest-wise, it was okay. I thought it was going to be um, kind of like the spider one. Where we had to go collect the spiders. Yeah, wait, let me look at the news page. Huh. It says James is worried about a strange um, strange man scaring Taurus in the hollow woods. Wait, is that Professor Hayden? Go find out what he's up to and help him with an insect infestation. Um, if that wasn't enough, you can find James in Fort Pinter, who is writing a book to sell to Taurus. Help James make a quick buck. Um... Okay, and then there's day and night mode, and the new... Um, yeah. I mean, this t-shirt is nice. Quest, though, there's been better side quests. Um, it didn't give that much experience. That little thing with the picture, though, was quite nice. Overall, it was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was just kind of there, if that makes any sense. Um, the horse facts were interesting. Um, but... Yeah, I... Hmm, I don't know. It was... It was okay. It was... <laughs> like, it was... It was just that. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was, like, show-stopping. But it wasn't terrible, if that makes any sense. I'm going to get a thumbnail. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this quest. Did you like it? Did you not? Um, yeah, I really, really like the jacket. I think it looks really, really nice. The quest is honestly just worth getting this jacket. But... Content-wise, eh, it's just a kind of side quest. Just go collect a few things. Yeah, you're done. Um, yeah, I kind of, ex I kind of expected a bit more with the insect infestation. 
they could have done a thing where you're going to have to actually like collect bugs but or at least see the bugs it was just dots I don't know I'm very mixed on this one it was okay I didn't hate it but I didn't love it anyway thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video definitely let me know what you guys think down below uh did you like it did you not and anything else you want to say i'm going to start coming back to star Simple videos every now and again if i think the update's interesting if it's not um let me know if you want to see a video of me buying those horses because they're really really speaking out to me although they do very much like lusitano so if i did i'd have to bring a lusitano to compare them um but yeah that's kind of it. I will uh, see you guys next time. Bye.